Hi, this is Kate from anybulldog.com, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the differences between bulldogs and pit bulls. Um, it's been brought to our attention that there are there's a little bit of confusion between the two breeds, so we're going to clear that up today. First, I think it's important to know a little bit about their history, and um, I think that will give us some clues as to why we get so confused. So um, the bulldog and the pit bull both have bulldog blood. Bull baiting was a popular sport in England in the 1800s. Um, bulldogs would attempt to pin down a bull by grabbing their snout and pinning them down to the ground. So they had to be really strong and pretty ferocious and people would come and watch this for a sport. Well, eventually this sport was thankfully outlawed and then the bulldog was left jobless. And so the breed started to die out a little bit, not a little bit, the breed was almost extinct. And there were a few farmers who kept the bulldog around as a farm dog and they would help herd cattle and sheep and help, help with all the animals. On the farm. Then eventually um, there were breeders who started to use extreme breeding methods and turned that ferocious strong bulldog into the bulldog we know today that is pretty generally unhealthy. They come with a lot of health issues but they're so cute and squishy and they really just want to be your friend. They want to be loved and that's the bulldog we know and there's no confusing that with <laughs> a pit bull there. I mean, they just look completely different, but there were some immigrants who took the bulldog with them and that bulldog is now called the American Bulldog. They were very popular in the South on farms and they, they closely resemble the bulldog from the 1800s. Scooting back to England um, about the same time that breeders started using the bulldog and um, breeding it into a companion dogs. This is when dog fighting really started getting popular in England because they could no longer um, do bull baiting as a sport and dog fighting was a little bit easier to hide from the authorities. So um, breeders took the bulldog and the terrier and bred them for the strength of the bulldog, but the agility of the terrier. And then they had this really strong, agile fighting dog. And that's how we got to know the pit bull we have today. Pit bulls, the American pit bull terrier and the American bulldog do look very, very similar. And it is, um, really easy to see why they get so confused but the pit the american pit bull terrier is actually part of the terrier family and in fact so many people get confused that even in shelters american bulldogs will be labeled pit bulls or in areas where pit bulls are actually banned um, american bulldogs are really looked down upon too so now that we know a little bit about their history and how they came to be and why they look so much alike. Let's um, talk a little bit about their differences. So let's start with their different looks. Here we have a picture of a pit bull on the left and an American bulldog on the right. I just want to point out, first of all, that the snout on the pit bull is so much longer than the snout of the American bulldog. I feel like that's the first giveaway when we're looking at similarities and differences. American bulldogs have square flat heads while the American pit bulls have, slightly have a slightly tapered head. Their ears are placed in just about the same place too, um, but the American Bulldog's ears often fold over while the Pit Bull's ears can either fold over or stick straight up like a cat's. Both the American Bulldog and the American Pit Bull Terrier are very, very muscular, um, but the Pit Bull's muscles tend to be a little more defined while they are both broad, the American Bulldog has a wider chest 
and their coats of fur are similar to short and shiny, but the pit bulls tend to be more stiff to the touch and their coloring is often similar as well with the fawn coloring being common in both breeds. But the American Bulldog often is white since that is what their coloring was historically. Let's look more closely at the American Pit Bull Terrier. Pit bulls usually weigh between 25 and 60 pounds. Obviously the males weigh a little bit more and they stand between 16 and 24 inches tall. They are broad and muscular and their bodies are well proportioned. Their heads are slightly rounded and their cheeks do not have wrinkles. The nose slightly tapers up and their jaw is wide. Their eyes sit low on the skull and their ears are high set. The fur on the American Pitbull Terrier can come in any color with many different patterns. In fact, the any color is accepted by the National Kennel Club, although the fawn color with white patches is very common for this breed and their fur is short and shiny and stiff. And here is a picture of an American Bulldog, obviously a larger dog, but not a taller dog. They are wide and low, but American Bulldogs can weigh between 55 to 115 pounds. That is a heavy dog, and they, are, they usually stand up to 27 inches tall. They are muscular and stocky, and their head is large and resembles a square shape. The American Bulldogs usually don't have the underbite that we see the English Bulldog and the, um, the French Bulldog have, um, but the American Bulldog's fur is short and smooth, just like their cousins, English Bulldog and the French Bulldog. While the American Bulldogs today do come in many colors such as red and brown, white and black, all brindle patterns, in the past they were mostly white with patches of red or black. They have a deep wide chest which gives them the good balance and agility that they would have needed to fight bulls and their bones are thick and their bodies are pure muscle. Their muscles won't be quite as defined as the pit bulls because they tend to carry a little bit more fat as well. Here is one last look at the pit bull and the American Bulldog. This is a really a good example of the differences in their facial features. Obviously, the snout on the pit bull is much longer and has no wrinkles, and the American Bulldog has that shorter snout and some wrinkles around his face. Another giveaway is to look at how wide their chest is. Those are the easiest two differences to see is the snout and the chest. Those, that's the quickest way to tell the difference between the pit bull and the American Bulldog. Like this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.